So, as you can see, I'm holding up one of my old tech suits and it has got a big tear in the back of it. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can get the most use out of a tech suit, not let it die, and keep it performing at the best of its ability. We're going to go over five quick points on how you can do just that. The first thing I wanna talk about is the first time you wear your suit in water. Now, if you look at the top professionals, at any championship meet, they will be wearing a brand new suit per race. And that would suggest that the best use of your suit would be the first time it hits water. So what you shouldn't do is the night before a competition, wear your new tech suit to practice to get a feel for it or to see how it is. If you're getting a suit, save it for your race. And that brings me on to the next point. Don't wear it in warm up. So many people wear their tech suits for warm up. And there's two big problems with that. The first is, as I said, you're wearing it out. It's treated with a hydrophobic water repellent surface and that will fade over time. Chlorine kills that. So you want as little water time as possible with it. Secondly, that means you warm up. You could potentially have up to an hour and a half, two hours at some meets before your first race. And while a tech suit does dry quickly, you're sitting around either in a pair of jammers over your, the biggest muscles in your body, your quadriceps, your hamstrings, and your glutes, or in a full suit, so covering your torso as well if you're a woman, that's a wet suit, which means your muscles are staying cold, which is completely negative to your swimming performance. You shouldn't do it. That's why you should warm up in a training suit, then get dry yourself off and get changed into something comfortable, and then close to your race, put your suit on. The third point is very much on the same topic. And that's don't wear the suit for warm down. It doesn't take long to finish your race, go speak to your coach about feedback, and then quickly put a training suit on. And it's gonna make your suit last longer. It's not gonna wear it out. It's gonna keep the water repellency. It's not gonna overstretch it. And you're gonna get a lot more wears of it. If you get 10 wears out of a suit, 10 hundred freestyles, that's 10 minutes of water time, or just over 10 minutes of water time. If you wear it for a warm up, a swim down, and a hundred freestyle at a meet, already three lifespans of suit usage, that's 3,100 freestyles. You're gonna kill a suit after a meet, and then wonder why it doesn't stay water repellent, why it's very loose and baggy, and why it doesn't stay dry. A brand new suit, you'll get out of the pool and it just dries instantly. One of my older suits, I get out of the pool and it stays soggy for like an hour. And that's because I've used it a lot. So don't just wear it in this water for the sake of it. Only if you have to wear it in swim down, in examples where you might have a five minute break between two races, you can get in for a quick hundred, get out, get dry and go into your next race. That's the only suggestion I would say to swim down in a tech suit. Or if you only have one tech suit and you've got two races in a session. The next points are a little different. And one will be how to um, wash or rinse a suit after, after a race. And this is something that not many people do, but if you look at, uh, inside a suit at the label, it will give you some sort of instruction on how to rinse it. So most of them are either in a lukewarm water or a cold water, hand wash only, yep, no machine wash, and some say you soap, some don't. So all I do is a little bit of soap on my hand as the water runs through my hands and just rinse out my suit in it, then hang it out to dry. Again, little things like that will just help you get the most out of your suit. Ooh, the final point would be wearing your tech suit in training. And, and when is okay to do that or should you be doing that? And you, you, know, you can watch a lot of um, videos of top swimmers train and they might say that once a week when they go off the blocks, they will wear a tech suit in training. And it's important, I think, at that level to wear one because it changes your pos body position in the water and it's more relevant to racing. You wear a hat, you wear your racing goggles and you wear your racing trunks. It makes sense. But you've got to remember these top professionals have an abundance of suits. And if they're only wearing one, a tech suit for one or two races at a top level, they can then use these tech suits in training at their heart's content. Now, if you're someone who only has one or two or three tech suits, you're going to want to save these for races and not wear them for a lactate set of six 100s, which again is going to start to kill the suit. Personally, I've got over 12 years of swimming, I've got quite a few old suits. So I can wear some older suits such as this one in training and consequently they have ripped and I'm not too worried about it because I was never gonna wear these in a race again. But if you plan on using a suit in a race again, I would not wear it in training. So hopefully this has helped. Hopefully this means you're gonna get the best out of your suit and get a long lasting experience with a suit that you do, at the end of the day, pay a lot of money for. 
Hope this video helps. See you soon, guys, and thanks for watching.